Hello, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. As promised in this session, we will continue to answer questions that we have received from you, our viewers. The first one is from Sandra. She says, can we have a policy about the number of days that a resident can be absent from their unit or extended absences and days? The answer is yes, you can, as long as the policy is reasonable and does not violate the resident's civil rights. The second question is from ND. Because of the extreme heat this year, we have decided not to allow grills on our property. How much notice do we have to give the resident, and is it a grandfather thing? No grandfathering that I know of, but you must give the resident at least a 30-day notice. I would add it to my house rules, and I would have them to sign the notice to make sure that we're all under the same understanding. The third question comes from Carla. I have a resident that files zero income, but leaves out every day dressed for success. How can I tell if she's working? Well, Carla, that's a hard one. Continue to run your EIV income and new hire reports. Make sure that she has completed a no income verification. And last but not least, ask her. Just ask her, are you working? The last one is from GT. He says, I know that we have to verify six months of checking account and that the resident only bought me the first page of each statement. They are consecutive. Do I have to have the entire bank statement? The answer is no. If they have provided you six consecutive first pages, the first page should have the beginning and the ending balance. And if you have six months of them, that's all you really need. That's the end for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time for another Tuesday tip.